Okay guys, so today we're going to make some dinner rolls. And so these are all the ingredients that we're going to use in order to make it. We're going to use a half cup of milk. We're going to use a third cup of water. We're going to use two eggs. We're going to use a quarter cup of butter. We're going to use a quarter cup of sugar. We're going to use two teaspoons of salt. We're also going to use a quarter cup of oats. Here I have two cups of plain white flour and two cups of wholemeal flour. And of course, we're going to use two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, which will be this whole packet of yeast. These are all the ingredients that we're going to use in order to make our rolls. So let's get to uh, putting everything in the bread machine. I'm going to use the bread machine to mix everything. Um, so let's get to doing that. So now we have the bread maker on the dough cycle. And I'm just going to press start, so it will start mixing. Now what I usually do is I use a spatula to help to combine everything, because usually the bread machine does need some help in combining everything. And in some cases, I might have to add a little more water or a little more flour, as the case may be. So based on what I see here, I am going to add a little bit more water, because at the bottom there I'm seeing some dry flour that needs a little water to help it come together. What I do with my spatula is that I try to help the flour come together by pushing it toward the bigger lump of dough. All right, I think that's it. I don't think I need to add any more water. I think that's moist enough to come together. All right, so I'm just going to leave this now to do its thing. It's going to continue mixing and resting. Um, it goes through a whole process um, for an hour and a half and it will rest and it will rise. This does heat it up a little, so that helps it to, to rise as well. So I'm just gonna cover it and leave it until it's, it's finished. And then I'll be back to show you how I would now shape and form the little bread rolls so that we can, again, put it to rest and then we will bake it in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Okay guys, so our dough is ready to take out of the bread machine and we're gonna form it into smaller balls and then leave it to rest. Let me apologize for some of my footage missing. Um, you didn't see me knead the dough a little bit and form it into a big ball because um, the footage did not come out well. So that part has been cut off. But um, what I did was lightly knead the dough again, form it into a ball, and then I'm just using a knife cutting off pieces and forming it into smaller balls which I'm then going to leave here to rise a little more for a few minutes and then I'm going to put it in the oven to bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Right, so let's leave these to rest 
her a while okay guys so our rolls are ready to put back into the oven in order to bake I say put back because I had it um, in the oven so that it would rise a little more so I'm now gonna of course the oven was not on I just rest it in there so now I'm gonna put it into the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit and, and bake it for about half an hour. So guys, and what I'm gonna do is just put some foil paper on top of my um, rolls. It has a few more minutes to go again, but I'm just gonna put some foil paper over the top so that it doesn't get too brown. Okay guys, so our dinner rolls with oats is complete. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in my next video. Bye for now.